has come to Sabbath school. Uncle, uncle, who has come to Sabbath school? Uncle has. Well, I'm so excited because you guys have made it for Sabbath school and we have just finished our Sabbath school going straight into our story. But like we always do, before we get to do anything else, we need to hear those kids' songs. As we listen to these songs, we hope and pray that God will speak through us in song, in hymns, in praise, in worship, and of course in stories. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this song before we get into our story. God bless you as you listen to this beautiful song. What a beautiful song that we've just had and I hope you enjoyed and you were singing along to the song as we are preparing to get into our children's sermon. Eh, yeah, wow, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Now I'm also even accustomed to doing the activity with you guys. And I know most of you are now doing it 100%. But there are those who are coming for the first time on our platform. We say welcome, uh, Sam Kela, uh, Tinoku Chinga Midzai. Even as we say happy Sabbath, Shabbat Shalom, Sabbat Rakanaka, Sabbat Entle. We welcome you to this beautiful program that has been made for kids, by kids, with kids, to enjoy the blessing of the Lord. We often begin with one activity. It says, do as I say, not as I do. And kids on this platform have been loving this activity, Sabbath in and Sabbath out. And many of them can do it without any problem. I hope you who are joining us for the 
first time you'll be able to meet the standard that the viewers have been doing. Well, it simply says, do as I say, not as I do. However, as adventurers and pathfinders, we have always made a pact that we do exactly what we say. When I say head, you put your hands on your head. When I say hands, you flicker your fingers. When I say waist, you put your hands on your waist. When I say knees, definitely you need to bend that body and touch your knees. Well, friends, that's our activity for today. Are you guys? Yes, I see you ready. I yes, you are ready, guys. Now let's go. Head, hands, waist, knees, waist, hands, head, hands, head. Oh, I got somebody. Yes, yes, yes. But most of you got it right. Well, friends, today we're going to share a beautiful story that I want us to consider. Well, guys, thank you for the activity. You know, we're doing this activity Sabbath in, Sabbath out to make sure that we keep our body in check. And remember, we need to be fit for witness. That's why we do these activities. And during this time of COVID-19 coronavirus, we must kick corona out and be able to be fit to tell the world that Jesus says, Jesus says. Well, today our theme says, if you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you have done it for yourself. So in all the times, you ought to do what is right. That's why Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, if you find time, do good unto all men, especially those who are the house of faith. So it is encouraging us to do good all the time so let me see how many of you are always doing good okay i love it i see all the hands are up because you have to be good boys and good girls who do good all the time even our lord and master jesus christ would want to see us do good to those that we love and even those that we don't know to our neighbors to the strangers whoever you meet in life you must be able to do good as the book of galatians chapter 6 verse 9 has said when you do good you reap what is good so when you do good you do it for yourself even if you decide to do bad, you are doing it for yourself. When I was a child, we used to play with a lot of things. I used to have a big box that had a magnifying glass, a horseshoe. But inside there, guess what was there? There was a boomerang. A boomerang, if you throw it, it will come back to you. Such is the issues of life. When you do good to others, good will always come back to you. When you do bad, bad will always come back to you. Well... I was about to pray and then I remembered I owe you guys a story. Yes, it's story, story time. Now, our story today is about a man. His name is called Mashingo. Mashingo was his name not because he was born and people called him Mashingo. But this guy used to stay at the bus rank right in the city of Mashingo, right here in Zimbabwe, close to the great ruins, the Mashingo, the great Zimbabwe ruins. So this man always used to stay there. But now this man was well known in the entire Mashingo community that whatever you do to him, he would dance around and he would dance around and say to you, if you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you've done it for yourself. So I remember one day, one of the kids was walking in the bus rank and he was eating some crystal mint. So he gave one mint to this man and the man gladly accepted and you know what he did? He clapped his hands. After clapping his hands, he danced around and he danced around and he looked at this boy and he smiled and says, if you've done good, you have done it for yourself. If you've done bad, you have done it for yourself. So this was Mashingo's statement all the time you do something to him. I remember one person told me that one day, one of the ladies who was selling uh, vegetables, after cleaning her vegetables, Mashingo was just passing through uh, her small market and she poured water on Mashingo and said, hey, you are dirty, go and clean yourself up. And Mashingo, he just removed the water in front of his face. This time he didn't dance around because he was not jovial. He just said to this lady, if you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you have done it for yourself. And the old lady said, ah, Suka, go away. Uh, you must go and bath. Mashingo went away. And as he was walking around, he met another man. This man had just changed his money and he was busy counting his money. As he was counting his money, Mashingo came and asked him, can I have $5 to buy some uh, bun? And the man looked and said, okay, fine. How much is $5? So he handed the $5 bill to Mashingo. He grabbed it. It was not a 
Yeah, but he grabbed it and he went and he bought some bath. And as he got the money, guess what? He danced around and he danced around and he said to the man, if you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you have done it for yourself. This is what Mashingo was preaching all the time. He just wanted to remind the Mashingo community that whenever you good do good, it will be a fruit. Like a boomerang, good will always come back when good is given. In my local language, there's a proverb that says, Kandiro kano inda kunova kamwe. Simply meaning, whatever you give is what you expect back. So this is what Mashingo was preaching in his sermons all the time. If you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you have have done it for yourself. But remember that lady who threw water at Mashingo. She was not really, really pleased with what Mashingo did. So she says, ha, I'm tired of this man. He is always walking around our market and he doesn't even bath and he's always stinking and smelling. What shall I do? She says, okay, I think I've got a plan. I must cook food and put red poison inside the food. And I know Mashingo is always coming around asking for food. I will give him the food with the red poison. Well, when we go home, maybe later on, I don't know what will happen to him. But I think even if he dies, I don't even have a problem. Because I don't like Mashingo. And he's always saying, hey, well, if you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you... I don't like that Mashingo doing whatever it is. So one day, she went home. She cooked some nice good smelling food and then put red poison inside and put it in a lunch box and this lady had a girl that a daughter she was staying with so when she came to the market she put the lunch box somewhere where people could see as mashingo was passing by he was just talking to other guys and then she said oh mashingo how are you today? He says, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. He says, oh, okay, are you hungry? He says, oh, yes, I'm so hungry. He says, oh, you can take this food. And she handed him a lunch box that had food which had put some poison inside. And she wanted Mashingo to, I don't know, suffer whether it was going to be death or he was going to be very sick, but she just wanted to punish Mashingo. So Mashingo took the food and guess what? Yes, he danced around and he danced around and said to this lady, if you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you have done it for yourself. So he took the lunchbox as he was walking with the lunchbox around. This little girl, the daughter of this mother, saw the lunchbox and says, Mashingo, why are you holding my mother's lunchbox? You must have taken my mother's lunchbox. And whilst Mashingo was still trying to explain she grabbed the lunchbox and she ran away with it and she went home and says ha mashingo he had taken my mother's lunchbox and when she got home she opened and wow what beautiful looking smelling tantalizing food and she started eating the food and then when she was full she went and cleaned the lunchbox and put it where she normally puts the uh, utensils that she cleaned when the mother came back from home she was surprised to see the lunch box and the daughter says ah mommy guess what i saw mashingo with your lunch box and i think he had taken it away from you so i took the lunch box away from him and because i realized that there was food inside so well i was hungry and i ate the food and the mother was like did you eat the food he says yeah it was scrumptious but and her tummy began to ache. And the mother says, I have to rush you to the hospital. So she rushed the daughter to the hospital. And when they got to the hospital, the daughter was in pain and she was in pain. Fortunately, the doctors did all they could. But now, now, because she had eaten poison, there are some problems that the doctor says she will always suffer for the rest of her life because of the poison. And when that happened, she remembered Mashingo's words. If you have done good, you have done it for yourself. If you have done bad, you have done it for yourself. And that's when she knelt and prayed and said, Lord, please forgive me. I should have listened to Mashingo. We must always do good. For when we do good, we will always reap that which is good. So to you, my friends, under the dictates of my voice, I want to say, when you are at school, to your friends, do good because good will always come back to you. Life is like an echo. If you go into an open space and you say, good, it will come back and say, good, good, good. If you say, bad, it will say, bad, bad, bad. So life is all about doing good to those who are around us, especially those who are the house of faith. And when we do good, we'll always reap that which is good. So I challenge you, boys and girls, 
Always do good because life is like a boomerang. What you give into life is what life gives you back. So you must always do good to others. God bless you as you do good to others. Shall we pray? Our Father who art in heaven, thank you for reminding us today that we must always do good. For when we do good, good will always come to us. Help us to do good to those we know, to those we don't know neighbors, strangers, and all those who walk in our lives. And all the kids who are listening to this story, watching from different places, may you help them to be good boys and good girls who are always doing good to people they always meet. Thank you once again for reminding us to do good all the time. Thank you, beloved Lord. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for watching and joining us today. Let's meet again next week, Sabbath. Remember, this week you are going to have a good page on your chair. Why? Because you are always going to do good to everybody that you meet. God bless you. Truth